Hello everyone, this is Gabcat242, and here's my review on the Ash vs. the Evil Dead Ash figure made by NECA. So, it's nice to have a new Ash figure in my collection. I was a fan of those old McFarlane figures, uh, I think with the Movie Maniacs line that was made years ago. I actually have a couple of Ash figures from the collection, but let's talk about this figure. So, this is based on the show on Stars Network, which is Ash vs. Evil Dead. I watched the first whole season, and I loved the show a lot, and I knew there was going to be action figures based on that show, and sure enough, NECA wastes no time, and they are out. So, from what I can remember, I think there were, what, three figures in this line? There was this version of Ash, there was one in his retail uh, uniform, and then there's also a Dead-Eyed Demon. So, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this figure. He does have some hindrance in his articulation in some parts, but you're mostly going to be posing him with his boomstick or shotgun, his chainsaw arm. And overall, I like the figure. I think the sculpt came out really nice. I mean, take a look at this head. Pretty good. like this Bruce Campbell, and NECA did a bang-up job. So let's get into accessories. So he's got his classic chainsaw hand, his boomstick or shotgun, if you want to call it. And he has not one, but two interchangeable heads. So he has his intense face, and you have a regular one. So just interchange them out. Just carefully pop them out. It's kind of tricky. And just play it like that. And there you go, just a calm face. So you can also change out this hand, which is the chainsaw arm. So all I gotta do is just pop out from the elbow. So you take that off first, and then you put on his, and it's really tricky to get this in. Okay, so, so yeah, so there is his, his mechanical hand. I'm mostly going to be having with the chainsaw hand, because I liked it a lot. And then his shotgun, which can be removed. It's kind of tricky, because the fingers, okay, so that actually can be stored in the back holster, which is nice. So that's pretty nice little effect to that. So articulation. So of course the head does look down that much, looks that up, does side to side and back. There is a ball joint in the shoulders, but it's a little bit hindered. And yeah, so we can take a look at that. So it's hindered a little bit. It does move forward slightly. I don't want to put too much stress into it. Uh, there is a ball joint in the elbows, single joints in the arms, there is wrist articulation, no hinge, does have waist articulation, slight, no, not even much of a nap crunch, legs are on a ball joint, and I think they're on a T joints too, yeah they are, so legs go about that high, that far back, single joints in the knees, uh, there's angle articulation. I think there's even yeah, there is a hinge in there. So he's not gonna be able to be in the most dynamic poses, but I mean, for those who watch the Evil Dead movies, yes, he did. Like he did fight a lot of monsters and demons, but you're not gonna get him crazy poses. But you're gonna be able to get him in some good poses, regardless of the articulation that's kind of limited in certain parts. So I like this figure. I'm definitely a big fan of the Evil Dead series. Let's take a look at him with some of the other figures I have. So these are the McFarlane ones. Even though these are more more like statues, I think for what they were, they were good figures. So here's the Army of Darkness Ash from McFarlane. I think this is still a good sculpt, even though it's more of a statue, but I like it. And then here's the other one, which is more of his classic look. So yeah, I think that this is a good step up to uh, Ash and from, the, from your Evil Dead line. I still need to pick up the, uh, was it the Evil Dead 2 Ash from NECA, but I was kind of passed because he doesn't have the chainsaw arm, so I'm hoping at some point we get an Army of Darkness Ash, which would be really great. So yeah, I really like this figure a lot, so Bruce agrees, and so yeah, good figure. If you're a fan of Evil Dead or Bruce Campbell, uh, I recommend picking up, and it's a good figure.